Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Let's get this started. Let's do it to it. Last time we were feeding chocolates to a girl. <laughs> yep. To the waifu. To the waifu. To, the waifu. to me. <laughs> <laughs> and Asteri really enjoys this this game. I, She's really intrigued. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. <clears throat> Let's continue on, continuing on. All right, it's time to share our poems. Average, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Uh, y yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. Not that you didn't just pull all that stuff out or <laughs> The spell is abruptly broken. I'll, I'll take care of the cups. Haha, -ha. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yuri picks up the tea cups from the floor. The mountain full of cups. I pick up the bag of chocolates. What size is that? A Z? In the end, we hastily clean up without so much uh, as a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Who should I show my poem to first? Mm, it's theory. How about Natsuki? Natsuki? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you really haven't learned anything at all. Honestly, I don't know why I got my hopes up in the first place. What? I didn't think this one was that bad. What did I do wrong? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's just going to sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. Natsuki stops short all of a sudden. D -d -d don't tell me. Eh? You're not you're not trying to imp impress Yuri, are you? What are you talking about? Keep your voice down. You, you know Yuri would love this kind of this inksty. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I, I mean... You... <laughs> looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I'm so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. It's your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Oh, I'm not gonna read her poem. Alright, who should I show my poem to next? Mmm, Sayuri. Sayuri! <coughs> Come on, I already tell tell you you don't I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably, Yuri. Eh? I didn't write this poem for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Average. So, Yori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> all right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. So you already? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, so Yuri cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. 
Right? Okay. Next. Mm, Yuri. Mm, average. This is wonderful. I can feel the emotion that you poured into it. Is this the result of, what, of trying what I suggested yesterday? Yeah, I guess so. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more feeling. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Oh, sorry, I'm still trying to swallow that cheap chocolate you put in my throat earlier. Eh? Anyway, I'm not used to this. Used to what? The chocolate, I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid. But seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me really happy. Are you saying you never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write, write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Mm. For some reason, Yuri doesn't respond. Yuri... Yuri smiles sadly. Average, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But, books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with, or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face, or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day, you know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Average. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings. And all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you. That I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. This being patient and respectful, that's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Average. I speak too slowly, I second guess myself all the time, and I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you, you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Um, if you put it that way, yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands. But this time, she's smiling as she does it. No. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Beach, a marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth cha chasti <laughs> what is it? Chastically? Yuri! <laughs> of handwriting. Chastically meets the surface, under a clear blue sky and expansive bliss of beneath gray rolling clouds and endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet, and where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? Ooh. Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Why does this sound Either so way, <laughs> the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam w w uh, wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. 
The breeze is gentle, yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Mm. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to erode at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. Um, I'm aware that the beach thing is a kind of a name thing to write about, but I did my best to make a metaphorical approach to it. You mean a sexual approach? <laughs> you say that like you didn't even want to write about it. I mean, I didn't want to eat those chocolates either, but you, know, you haven't heard? <laughs> After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I see. Natsuki didn't even let me read her poem, so I don't have much to contribute. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she wanted to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular, particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. And last but not least, Mm-hmm. Hi, Average. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it will turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Mm. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm. I guess so. I just picked these random 20 words together. <laughs> right? You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most... romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. Mm hmm Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers. I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that must be pretty into her. <laughs> You, you completely misunderstood. <laughs> Calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying... Anyway... I'll share my poem with you, alright? Uh... Alright. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But all else has failed me, when all others have turned away. The legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky, until one day, the mind ceases to glow. I fall. 
that totally says wind. Yeah. Her handwriting looks like it says mine. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless. The hand catches me between the thumb and a forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer of all which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there's no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I'm not your legend. Your legend doesn't exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat and I pick up a gust of wind. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world just start to lose its meaning? You know, that's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans are two-dimensional di two creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot more easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and things you can work on. It's more encouraging that way. It'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own literature club, don't you think? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Soyori isn't here. Ah, uh, it seems you're right. Oh. Sayuri always helps lighten the mood a bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Ah, uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? 
That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival's preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. All of them. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? <laughs> Challenge accepted! And for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayuri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, you, Yuri, you can. Uh, um, huh? Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. No, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Now that Tsuki's. Too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I'll never give Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, uh, that may be the case, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help Set the atmosphere. A atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk and focuses and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, let's just... That just leaves you average. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica is going to give me a choice. And you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Average may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So, therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Well, hold on! I never said that! <clears throat> How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Average to... W what are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Average to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. And she sticks out her butt. I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Average, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. <sighs> Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm gonna go with... We'll find out next time! Until oh, next time, see ya! Bye, every mountain! Bye-bye. <laughs> what a...
cliffhanger. <laughs>